Terminal profiles let you launch a VS Code integrated terminal with a specific shell environment. You can use them if you need to switch between multiple shells, such as working with Command Prompt and PowerShell on Windows, for example, and you can also use them to really customize your shell environment. Let's take a look at them in action. Now, I'm going to be using Windows here to demonstrate, but all of these commands also work on macOS and Linux as well. Now, to start with, I have an integrated terminal down here, and VS Code will actually generate some terminal profiles automatically. So if I go down to the dropdown over here, and I go down here, you can see that I have PowerShell, Command Prompt, all of these being listed here are terminal profiles that have just been picked up automatically. So if I go and say new command prompt, for example, here, you can see that I have a new uh, terminal that's been launched and it's using command prompt instead of PowerShell, which was my default. You can see that it's also picking up things like Git Bash and WSL here as well. So these are being picked up automatically by VS Code. I did not have to configure anything. Now where profiles get really interesting though, is that you can actually customize existing profiles or create entirely new ones. So let's take a look at doing that. To start with, I'm gonna open up the command prompt with Control Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac. And I'm going to say terminal profile, and I want the terminal select default profile command here. So actually, after running select default profile here, you can see it's listing out all of the profiles that have been detected before. This would let me change the default profile that's going to be used when I create an integrated terminal using the little plus icon down here or my keyboard shortcut. In this case, though, I actually want to go and customize things. So I'm going to go to the PowerShell one here and click on the gear to actually create a new profile. So this will let me customize things. It's asking me for a name. So I'll say my PowerShell here is the name of my profile. And if I go to the dropdown, you can see that my PowerShell is now showing up. Now, this is not going to actually do anything yet. It's just going to run normal PowerShell. So let's go and customize things now. So I'm going to open up my settings with Control, comma, or Command, comma on Mac. And I'm going to open up my settings JSON file here and go down to the bottom. And I want the Terminal Integrated Profiles Windows setting. And based on the platform, this setting value will be different. But I'm on Windows in this case. And you can see that there's an entry for my PowerShell, which is the profile we just created. And it's going to run PowerShell by default. Now I can actually go in here and supply some arguments that are going to be used as well. So let's say args here, and I'm going to launch PowerShell with the dash no logo. So this is going to get rid of the little Microsoft copyright text at the top of PowerShell. So now when I go to my terminal dropdown here and say my new PowerShell or new my PowerShell, you can see it's just started a PowerShell and there's no copyright text at the top, which is proving that our, our profile is being used here. 